Now that we've taken a look at the mock-up pages, let's examine them more carefully and tease out their structure a bit. If possible, our goal is to find a structure that might be common across all the pages. We're going to do that so that we can take that structure and map it into HTML. And right now, that's all we're going to worry about. We're not going to worry about the layout or the presentation of the content. We just care about what the structure is. So first, let's break this page up into two big areas, the header and the main content area. And then we can further break the main content area down into two more areas, the content section on the left, which is where all the main content is going to go for a page, and then a sidebar on the right that is going to contain some other related links and pointers to things. All the pages except the home page have this same basic format. We can break the header down further by noticing that the header has an image on the left and a collection of links to other pages on the right. We can do the same thing with the main content area, break it up into its components, which are the main content part on the left and the sidebar on the right. And then we can break those parts down into their components, noticing that the content area on the left has a heading at the top and some content underneath, in this case, a collection of paragraphs of text and an image. And then on the right-hand side, we can break down the sidebar into components and notice that we have a couple of headings and we have some groups of content below those headings. Let's compare this structure for the About page to some of the other pages and see if it's going to work for the other pages that we have. So here's that same structure on the Tour page. And notice that we have the same header with Tour highlighted now. And then we have the main content area on the left and the sidebar on the right below the header. And then within the content area on the left, we have the heading. And we have some content below that that looks like it's got a second level heading, a video, and a paragraph of text. And on the right, we have a couple of headings in the sidebar, and again, some grouped content below those headings. What about the Mixes page? Same basic structure. We have a heading on the left with some content below it. Looks like we have more second level headings, paragraphs, and some images. And then on the right in the sidebar, we have uh, a heading and some grouped content. And then finally, let's compare this to the blog page, and you can see a lot of similarities. There's a little bit of difference in the left side of the blog page in that we have some blog posts that each have a date below them. So that's a little different, but the same basic structure is there. So now that we have a good understanding of how these pages are put together, we can create a wireframe for them. And because all of these pages are quite similar, we can probably get away with creating just a single wireframe to represent them all. And again, a wireframe is just a structural design for our pages, which we can use to create the HTML that will work across all of these pages. So starting from the header, we have the wireframe part of the header. And within that header, we have an image and we have a collection of links on the right hand side that we're calling a menu. We have the main content area below the header, which contains a content section on the left and a sidebar on the right. And then the content section on the left has typically a large heading and then a mix of different content, including text, images, video, and so on below that. And in the sidebar, we typically have headings and we have items below those headings that seem to be grouped together. Okay, so we have a complete wireframe now. So the next step is to take that wireframe and map the components into HTML. 